Hi there, Joe from Kingston, and today we've come on down to the popular Morgan Estate, specifically Waverley Gardens, just to come and have a look at a three bedroom extended semi detached property. So you can see Waverley Gardens extending down there. So we go down onto Semington Road. If I take you down, you can see where Waverley Gardens comes to an end. We've got a couple of properties opposite. You see, we've got Kenilworth Gardens just there. Opposite is Woodstock Gardens, it takes you further down into the estate. And of course, as you go on down to the far end of Kenilworth Gardens and you come out onto Spa Road, there's some nice little cut throughs in terms of walking that will take you through and into the center of town. And of course, we're very close to Illyric School, only around about a two minute walk away to get the young ones to school. So we've come to have a look at this one right on the end of Waverley Gardens, just on the corner as you come onto Kenilworth. Lovely house itself. It's worth while noting down behind here, I'll show you around there a little later, we do have a driveway, plenty of space there for several cars. In fact, they've also had a membrane put underneath the lawn area down the side. So if you wanted to park more cars on there, it wouldn't destroy the, the ground itself. We also have a garage. We've got a nice little garden out towards the road. I say little, quite a big bit of space for the house itself. So we have the bay here at the front. We've got a living room that leads on through to a dining room. We've had a downstairs extension to the side. So we still have space for a separate kitchen. We've got a utility out there, including a downstairs toilet. And then it's been extended out towards the rear as well. So we then have another reception room currently used as a bit of an office. And then if you go on up the stairs, then we come to two good sized double bedrooms. We have a smaller at the front and a very well sized and put together bathroom. So with that, we have a four piece suite. So we have a separate bath, shower, we have a wash and basin, and then we also have the WC. So overall, really good size for a family house, especially with the living space downstairs. We've got a good size garden, again, with the amount of parking, and we have the garage on top, including an electric car charger. That's enough of me telling you about it out here. Let's actually head on in and we'll explore ourselves. We've come through the front door and come straight on through into our hallway where you can see we've got some lovely LVT flooring extending on down to our kitchen and our dining room. We've got the stairs running up to the first floor, we've got a radiator just hidden under the cover. As we come on down we've got a set of glass doors through into our living room, we've got another glass door through into the kitchen, we also have an understairs storage cupboard and we'll pan back towards the front. You can see there our front door with frosted glass panel and frosted glass side panel. You can see we've got plenty of space here on the left for units for coats and shoes, etc. As we come on through to our living room, so immediately you'll notice we've got double doors through glass again into our dining room. And as we pan around to the right, you see we've got a wall mounted television, we've got the chimney breast where you can see we have a log burner built in there. As we continue around, we've got the bay window to the front. We've got a radiator tucked down behind that sofa. And of course we have another two seated sofa there on the right hand side too. So a good sized living room, very nice with those double doors. As we come on into the corner and pan across. And then right now you can see back through into that kitchen, into that second reception room, and then out towards the rear of the property. As we pan around once again, Got a better view of the fireplace just there. While we're here, I'll give you a quick view out to our front and then into the garden where we stood just a couple of moments ago. And we're coming on through and to the rear into our dining room. So you see here, we have a six seater table just here in the middle, plenty of space all the way around. In fact, we've got a unit down there in the corner. You could get a few other units down the right should you want to. And as we pull them down, you can see we've got a radiator in the corner. We've got the old rear door into that reception room. And then of course we have the nice opening through and into the kitchen on the far side. We have another radiator tucked down in the far corner there too. So a lovely amount of space. 
as we then consider that we've got straight away our kitchen here, which is another good sign. So you can move straight on through. So it could be classed as a kitchen diner should somebody want to. We're coming into the downstairs extension. Could be used as a playroom. Could be used as a, a dining room should you want to move it around. I have had somebody use this as a bedroom in the past. But you see here, we've got a office with a unit here on the right. We've got two radiators, one in the corner, a sliding door out to the rear. And then we have plenty of units just here at the far end. And of course, we've got that nice door and windows back on through to the front of the property. You can see that second radiator in the corner there. While we're here, there is a view out into the garden. Of course, I'll take you out there shortly. As we come on back and we're coming into the kitchen. So this is an extension to the side. So we've got a good sized kitchen overall. And of course there's plenty of space down here. A lovely amount of downstairs space. But the doorway back through to the front and our hallway. So you've got space for a cooker. Moving on around and we have space for an under counter fridge. We've got a window to the side, window to the front. So you've got a one and a half bowl sink unit, a single drainer and mix tap. Below there, we've got space for a slim on dishwasher. See the units continue around and we have space for a full size fish freezer. Just down behind the door, we have a sliding door there, which is a pantry and we're going on through out into the utility. While we're here, there's a view to the driveway. You can see our electric car charger point and then a view to the side. And then coming back around, you can see again, back on through to our dining room. So hanging a left here and heading towards the rear of the property. We'll finish off downstairs with the utility. We've got plenty of space here on the right. And of course, we've got space for the washing machine. The far end, we've got a window. We've got space for a tumble dryer, space for further shoes, etc. Nice place to bring the dogs in if you've got dogs. We've got a window and door just there to the side. And we've got the doorway through here into our downstairs cloakroom. So starting on the right, so you've got a heated towel room, got a vanity wash hand basin in the corner with a tile splashback. So you continue on round, got a frosted window to the rear, and down below is a low level WC. So that is downstairs. I'll bring you on round and we'll head on up to the first floor where we're coming straight onto the landing. So it's on the side of the property. As we look towards the rear, we've got a bathroom through to bedroom number two, bedroom number one at the front. And of course we have the third and smallest bedroom also at the front. And while we're here, you've got the open landing space and our window out towards the side. We can see out onto Waverley Gardens. We'll start off with the largest bedroom at the front of the property. So coming on through, you immediately notice we have the chimney breast continuing from downstairs. We've got space for a unit. We then have the double bed on the far end, just next to the bay. So that's nice stand on either side. We've got a radiator there as we come around and we have plenty of units just here on the right. If you wanted to reorientate this, you could put the bed on the head just there and then put built-in storage around the chimney breast. Of course, if you prefer it as it is at the moment, it's up to a new owner to decide. As we pan around from the far end here, and here we are in the bay again, looking out onto Waverley and Kenilworth. So we will make our way on and into the bedroom at number three. So staying at the front of the property. So coming on through, got a window to the front. We've got a radiator there. Is a single or an office. Currently have a large bunk bed just tucked behind the door. Of course, if you wanted just a single bed or you wanted a desk in here, etc. You could do so, no problem at all. There's another quick view out to the front. As we make on down, we're coming to the rear of the property and we're coming into the second double. So you've got plenty of space in front there on the right hand side. As we pan around, we then have a king size bed with nightstands either side. As we pan around, let me come in to this. So another good size double, plenty of space for storage. And of course, this time we're looking out towards the rear over the top of the extension and into the garden. Really nice that there's nobody directly behind you. And we're coming on through into the bathroom, which is another part of the property that's been extended. So we've got frost and window to the side. We've got a low level WC, then have a cupboard. We then continue on down to the far end. 
you see that we have a pedestal wash and base with tile splash button on the right, followed by a heated towel rail. We then have the start of the tiling around that frosted window to the rear. And of course we have the bath there with a hand shower attachment. And as we come on through, you see an extract fan in the corner and then our shower enclosure with folding glass door. And that's a main shower. So of course a beautiful four piece suite in here. So that's us done with the inside. So let's head on out to the outside. Where we've come on out through the utility door and come out onto the covered decking area just here. We've got the gate out towards the front. We've got the garage there with courtesy door to the side that has power and light. We've got an external power point here too. As you see on down, you see we come out of the covered area. We've got this pergola with a beautiful vine growing up, extending all the way across. If we come on down, we're just next to the door through into that second reception room downstairs. You see we've got quite a bit of foliage growing down the side to give you a nice separation, but of course we have the lawn area. We'll make our way on down here. So you can see it extends down to the far end. And of course, with all the shrubs running around, you've probably got another meter if you wanted to take them out and just have the fence line. As we come on down into the corner, we will pan across. And it extends down behind the garage. So at the back of the garage, you see we have space for a small shed. And you see we've got the pathway extending on down that we're going to follow. You see we've got a small pond just here that extends down where we've got the trellis and that separates you from the what I would call the front garden section but you could change that and use that as more of a rear garden section should you want to. In fact if I take you around I'll give you a quick idea. So if I open up the gate and we come straight out to the driveway so we've got this block paved driveway section here and of course we've got the gravel section coming down off Waverley Gardens. See that takes you around to the front there. You'll be able to get two cars side by side here should you want to. You then have the car charger and of course we've got the space just in front of the garage. You see we've got an outside light on the top of that. And then we have this large area of lawn here. There is a membrane underneath the lawn. So if you want to park cars on it, you wouldn't have a problem. It's not going to churn it all up. And of course you'll be able to get a camper van on it or two to three cars on here, no problem or should you want to or not use the parking you could move this trellis around and have this as more garden place that's going to fish today for 19 waverly gardens